Welcome to lesson 70. In this lesson, we'll go over the gradient tool, which we used in the previous lesson. First, we start with the basic shape. We will change the color to something else. And also, we'll make a circle. Now, we can go over to the gradient, and the first one you see is the black and white gradient. You can click that one directly to make it. This is very simple. Now, in order to change colors, you can either drag and drop them, or double click and change the color. Base. You can also access the palette, like here, but you cannot drag and drop this time. You only have to click. You can also change the angle. As you can see, the angle moves. This is very nice. The next thing, you can reverse the gradient, like this. And you can also choose a radial gradient. And you can reverse it. Let's pick a nicer color. And there you go. We have a nice gradient. We can also uh, determine the aspect ratio. If we press G, we see the gradient tool. Let's reset it back to 100. And you see you got a couple of control points. First, we can increase it. And you see the color distribution changes. Now, we can increase the size and the size again. We can also rotate it. Let's make it smaller and like this. And you can see the effect. You can also directly uh, use those sliders from here. You can change the color distribution again. One other thing to do is change the opacity of a certain point. So let's make it 30. Now the opacity of that point is lower and the color will blend with the white of the background. Now, uh, if you export like, uh, and I'll show you how, uh, the image will be transparent and will blend with whatever image on the web or background you use. But for now, let's leave it aside. You'll see that the location changes as I move the slider. You can also change the distribution point like this. And you can add new gradient sliders. You can remove them by clicking and dragging downwards or pressing the delete stop. Moving forward, we will make a line or just reverse. We will zoom in and go to the stroke. As you see here, you got a couple of more options. But first, let's put uh, some other colors in there, so it is much more visible. And there we go. Maybe you can put a red. Yeah, this works. And uh, now, let's see, what's the difference between those? The first thing, we go a little to the stroke panel and increase the size so we can see what's going on. Okay, this works now. Don't worry, we'll go to the stroke panel later as well. The first option is called Apply Gradient Within Stroke. So pretty much like you have a fill, it goes from one side to another. This is simple. The next option is called Apply Gradient Along Stroke. And the gradient will go from the start point all along the stroke to the end point. You can see here, and it goes like here. The last option is Apply Gradient Across Stroke. 
So just like uh, use, having a fill, it goes from one side of the stroke to the other, and so on. You see the dark is on the inside, and the light part is outside. We will go through all of them again to illustrate the differences. But much better idea is to make a copy of each one. In order to make a copy, quick copy, you select the shape you want, you hold Alt, the cursor changes, and you drag, drag around, like this. So let's make another copy. And for each, we will change the shape, the type of the stroke gradient. So for the first one, we choose the first one, the second one, the third one. Now you can see the differences between each one. Okay, this is enough for this lesson, and see you in the next one. Thank you.